What's up guys, YouTube video here here. Figured I'd let you guys watch this little, you know, first little thing that would that will show the adventure and what's to come. As if you haven't seen this before, this is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It's a very popular LP, I guess. And you know, I figured you know, why don't I give it a shot? Alright. So I guess we'll just do file two. This is not on a Wii or anything like that before you, you know, say stuff like that. This is on a computer through a ROM and well Yeah. I don't have HD cables like I do for my Wii to record on. And well, I mean, you know, it's just it doesn't really matter, it's all the same game. So here we go. Yay. Alright. Let's get it on. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took pl took his place among legends. You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Awkward waddle, awkward waddle. Groping, groping. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Tail. What would we do if you dropped and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, but sis, what? why can't I try it out too?
Okay, so here we are, as Link, in the beginning. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these ruby, I mean, chop these rubies up, chop these bushes up, and see if I can get some rupees. <coughs> I apologize if my voice sounds weird or if I'm <coughs> talking a little quiet and cough because I'm kind of sick. And well, yeah, I'm, I'm sick, and this is a lot harder to do on computer. And I don't want anybody contracting my illness. So, I'm thinking about you guys. <coughs> so, then we go. Oh, man. I know you're thinking, why would you want to get all the rupees? Well, rupees, oh, man. Rupees become very important in this game. Well, they don't become very important. But in order to get the heart pieces, uh, you're going to have to, you know, play games and stuff. And I'm just going to try to get a good start on that. Oh, well, that was awesome. Uh, okay. Enough with all the pretty boy stuff, okay? Just, just do it. Just do it. Just jump. Ready flips. I knew it. Oh! What? I'm having difficulty with this game. Wow. It's just an LPR's luck, you know? I don't know why it always does this. I did so good on this, the first run through. And now it looks like I'm horrible. Okay, okay, now don't mess this up. Don't mess it up. Okay. Yes! Alright. Mission accomplished. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, not doing that. Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. S -s Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here, Tail. You can't leave without me. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please! Come on, a helpless little girl is asking you. So hurry up! Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Alright, sorry that I can't do a very good girl's voice. I can't do a very good anything voice, and I thought Tail was a girl until like five seconds ago. Uh, so, yeah. But, here we are. Our 
complexion is lost when we are a Deku boy. Okay. So, as you just saw, we have been turned into a Deku. And, hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff right there. I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that school kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press the up on the C button, and I'll tell you, tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Ha ha ha. Alright. So this is a Deku flower. Tattle, I don't need your help. And down here we have um, bushes that will give you awesome rubies if you love them. And they do that if you don't get them all in a decent amount of time. <sighs> so these are Deku flowers. Um, I'm not sure if that's what they're called 100%, but... Uh, Alright, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on a Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out a flower. Press A while launching, while flying to descend. Did you get that? Of course. Are you sure? One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. That was totally irrelevant to what she just... That is... Okay, yeah, she's a she. To what she said about the flowers. But, nonetheless, here we go. And what's behind door number two? More Deku flowers. Alright. And... There's a chest up here, so let's see what we can get out of this thing. Do 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 Ah, uh, you got a Deku nut. Press B while flying to drop a Deku bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. All right. Um. Wow. Where does this go? I'm supposed to. I bet. Oh yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh. Can he make it? Can he make it? Can he make it? Yes. What? Oops. Oh, she. Am I supposed to drop a deck bomb? Oh. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Okay. And we are spinning in a room. Oh, this is my favorite music. I'm just going to be quiet by you listen. Terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now, I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. Which is creepy because we're 12 years old. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, I'll ask that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be no d d 
Okay. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Okay, so this, as he said, was a happy mask salesman. He is probably one of my favorite people in the game. As you can see, he has a bunch of masks. You can see Mario. Um, I can't, I can't uh, remember all of them. Look at that creepy mask right there. Yeah, that's scary. Then you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I haven't watched him in forever, so I don't know what mask that is. But nonetheless, I'll get into why he's my favorite later. Because it's a long story that would have to be explained, you know, over time. And this is Clock Town. The most important town ever. He gives me the creeps. That mass salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. <coughs> okay. So, the Great Fairy is in the North Gate, and North Clock Town is way up here. Okay, dogs hate you as Deku people, or a Deku boy, or whatever, whatever. So, might as well get used to that. Alright, so this is East Clock Town, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So this is East Clock Town. This is where all the social stuff is. You know, whatevs. Do we have a... Nope. We have nothing yet. Nothing. You believe that? Alright. So here is North Clock Town. Where kids play and balloon pants dances. Alright, so I'm gonna just go into the great fairy's house. Oh no! What has happened? The great fairy has died. Uh, can I speak to you? Can I... Nope, I can only do backflips. Alright. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the Great Fairy has turned into a bunch of little fairies. This is not a big deal. However, it can be. Okay. So, look over there. It's a heart piece, our first one that we cannot collect. However, one thing we can do as a as a Deku is wander around aimlessly. And by aimlessly, I mean we can go get some fairies. There is one fairy. Ooh, excuse me. Over near the I'm trying to think of what it's called. I'm just gonna call it the river. The pond, whatever. <clears throat> and I totally skipped what that guy said on accident. Uh, he basically says that this that flower is his private property, and unless you bring him something amazing, he will not let you have it. Okay, so this is actually called the laundry pool. I forgot what it was called. But as you can see, look. The mask kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Okay, so as far as I know... The most of the fairies that um, are missing when you go to the you know different bosses and it's not in my inventory. Okay, um, are uh, there's like 15. Or, I don't know if it's a different amount for each one, <coughs> but I know it's uh, 15 for at least one of them. In here, there should be another fairy. There's another fairy here at night, I believe. And I believe she... Maybe if you collect those two fairies... That... You can reunite the fairies like, uh... 
uh, bring them all together and to make the sexiest woman of all time. But here we go. Let's go take this fairy back to the great fairy fountain. Maybe this will make. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Pointy deformed boobs, yes! Tattle, and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I'm the great fairy of magic. I thought that that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this I shall gain magic power. Look at those pointy boobies! She's getting us high and is going to seduce us. Okay, that's that's too much. That's too much. Yes, you've been granted magic power in your current form. Press B to shoot bubble blast. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful, you must not underestimate that child's power. Kind, young one. If you are returned to your former shape, come see me, I shall give you more help. Okay, so... After talking to the... pointy-breasted woman... We are going to... join the bombers. So... This kid, this kid is probably the biggest douchebag in the game. Like, where's the Majora? He freaks out first, and he says, Are you the one that just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is, but don't think you're getting in that easily. I just can't tell you the code. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Alright, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Don't! That's always my favorite part, as, a uh, just playing this game, is just watching the kid fall down. Oh, you got a kid here. Because he's just like, don't! He doesn't even, uh, how do I describe it? He doesn't even, uh, do anything to fall down. He just stand, he, it's like he's standing on his feet, and he just falls down. Alright. So there's two here, if you didn't see that. There's Jim. I think Jim's his name. I hope Jim's his name, because I've been calling him Jim. There's Jim. I'm just going to give them all random names. There's Bob. Oh. Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brats little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 16.52 left until morning. 16 hours isn't a long time. To find some people in a town that's maybe... Five billion square feet. I don't know how big it is. Chase him. Da -da -da -da. If you chase this guy around long enough, he will uh, hide under a box, and that's when he's the easiest to catch. So I'm gonna try right. Stop running. I just want to catch you. Yeah. Stop it. Don't be gay. This guy's name is Dick. Oh, please get under a box. Please get under a box. Yes. Aw, oh, you caught me. Only two left. Okay, over here there's a Deku flower. You never get, well, guess what we're going to use it for. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to catch the kid up here. Oh, don't jump off the edge. Don't commit suicide. No. Alright, there's only one left. And, um, it's been two hours apparently. So, this is a pretty long game of hide and seek. The last one is not in South Clocktown. Just to let you guys know. I just had to come through here. It is in the West Clocktown, the one place we haven't been yet. And I'll go more I'll tell you more about West Clocktown as the game progresses, because right now it's really not that important. But nonetheless. That is the only per important person right now in uh, West Clocktown. She uh, throws her hands around like she's uh fanning herself. She has red hair, and she's, uh, blind. Yeah. What a life, you know? And here's the last kid. 
Levi. Oh, no way, you finally got me. Alright, so you'll only get the opportunity to get this code once, so you want to write it down. I don't have anything to write down with, so I am going to use my phone really quick and write this down. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! No way! No scrubs! I guess not. Once we let Suke some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can only tell you once though, so pay attention. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. So it's fifteen, four, two, three. And now it's in my phone. And now we can go talk to the old man in the in the observatory, just like we were instructed by the great fairy. Of course, we don't have our original bomber's notebook, so we can't really do that much. It would, you know, be amazing. But nonetheless, la la la. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, and I didn't mean to skip what he said. So that's good. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. What's the code? One, five. Four, two, three. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. And then... Jane steps aside. Oh yeah, and um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. Woohoo! Alright. In here... Uh, is probably the, uh... Most eerie setting I think I've, I've, I've encountered. This just makes this setting makes me unsettled. Like I don't I don't think I don't know if it's just me, but this this setting right here just makes me see with all the gas and ceiling and that, which I forget the name of. Apparently it is a. Uh... Okay, don't tell me what that is. It's a skull chilla. Okay, what? You don't even know about the skull tola? Oh, uh, skull tola. It's protected by a hard shell, but its stomach is soft. So that basically tells you what you have to do there. Just wait for it to come down, and it spins around for you. Oh, well. Now that we have the biggest... Oh, uh, now that we have the best weapon of all time, our own snot, we will be able to kill these things with no problem. And that's all they do. And they're just gonna spin around. Alright, in here you have a few pots. It is kind of weird what this leads up to. But it's fine with me because weird stuff is awesome, dog. All right, you got a balloon right there that you're gonna want to blow up. And up the ladder we go. Now, as you see, this creepy, eerie setting—it looks like you're gonna go into this dark, mean place. And my voice just cracked. <coughs> Here we are, the happiest place on earth, where you have the scarecrow that dances. Yo, hey baby, I'm a stylin' scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? Nah. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back any time if you do decide you wanna dance. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you wanna learn it? Nah. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, let me hear a song written by you, baby. So, that's the pedophilia, pedophiliac. It's just a pedo, scarecrow. And up here is the creepy old man. And I say that creepy old man in the nicest way possible. But he looks like Santa Claus, in blue. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. Hrmph, hrmph, hrmph. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other side said, oh, from the other day said, he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon steer. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Yes, I will gaze into the telescope. And what do you know? On the clock tower? There Skull Kid is. As he dances a little bit and looks up at his moon, and it appears the moon is sad. 
Aww, that's so sad. And then he spanks his booty at us. Shake, shake your money maker. Okay. That's all there really is to see through there. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon tears falling nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. I did not. Okay. So he, whenever he tells you to go out the door, you hop up off your little body, and you go out the door to collect the thing. You got the moon steer. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Alright. So. As we come back in here, you don't have to talk to him again. I don't... Is he even in here? Oh, yeah. But you don't have to talk to him anymore. And this all leads up to the grand finale. Alright. So. Down the ladder. We're just gonna cut all the way back. I don't know if the skull toll is back. Nope. Okay. Here's the eerie setting I was talking about. And you only get five hops as a Deku, and that's what happens if you, you know, miss. And let's see what Tattle wants. Alright, so we know where the skull kid is. Let's go ask around the clock tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Never fear. Blink isn't. Never mind. I'm just gonna stop that there. Try to stay out of all the politics and stuff. I will admit, though, I know a, a person who is, who they are homosexual, but they're Republican, and I could not understand that at all. Like, if you're a Republican and you're a homosexual, I'm confused, and apparently so are you, because that's not how it goes. Alright, so we have the moon steer, the new moon steer, and we're gonna go help a few people before we end this episode. As you remember, this guy was looking for a moon steer. Um, for his wife. See? I'm thinking of closing up shops so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the moon steer shines brighter than any other land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Alright, so now we have empty C buttons. And this is where it changes, but not for long. Because... We can give him the moon's tear. Ah, that stone, you must give it to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spy here. Take a flower included, yes? Alright, so we get the title deed to his flower. You really help me out, man. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel this strange or sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Okay, so, like any other Deku Scrub, he gets the magic thing that pops out of your head. And I guess it's like, the, uh, it's like, turns him into a helicopter where he can pack like 50 million bags. And in exchange, he gives us this crappy old flower. That is actually not that crappy. Because... You got a heart piece! Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container. Each new container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you can have. The door of the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Don't know why she told me that, because I didn't ask, but nonetheless. Now, there are two more things I want to do before the conclusion of this episode. And... It's not talk to anybody in here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. First thing we're going to do is we're going to head to West Clock Town. And I don't know why I took the long way. So hopefully this will cut the time a little bit shorter and shorter and shorter. I'm really surprised the dog hasn't got me yet. The dog normally always gets me. I can't get it to leave me alone at all. So there's Dick. Actually, I don't think that's Dick. That's Levi. Hey there, little guy. Want you to deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even people, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. 
For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. I'm gonna deposit some rupees, and we're just gonna go ahead and deposit all our rupees. If you don't deposit your rupees by the end of the third day, you will lose all the rupees that you saved up. And I'm really depositing that many rupees. <coughs> she then stamps you with the invisible stamper, and now, whenever she sees us, and by see, she means touch your head, uh, exotic dancers, um, she'll know who we are, and we are Link. Pretty appropriately named, if I do say so myself. But nonetheless, there is only one more thing I want to do before I conclude this episode, and that is to go, what -da -da, what -da -da, not talk to him, he creeped me out. It is up here, yeah, yeah. One thing I will say is that this game, for its time, was really good. I, f I love The Legend of Zelda, and this game just kind of like, was, whoop, oh, well, you can't do it as a Deku. So, the one thing I wanted to do, I can't do as a Deku. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my gosh. Mm. So, I guess we're just going to end things off here. So, on the, n on the next episode of Legend of Zelda, we will be going to the Stockpot Inn for the first time to help a friend in need that we, don't, we haven't met yet, and we're going to go make bank. So, everybody, this is YouTube Video Hero, signing out.